marching with him and they're saying the kingdom of God will be established any minute riding a donkey to fulfill prophecy Zechariah chapter 9 verse 9 he said, tell ye the daughters of Zion behold thy king cometh your king is coming sitting upon an ass mean a donkey and a great multitude spread their garments and branches in the way and the multitude cried saying Hosanna to the son of David and hooray hooray to the son of David Hosanna to the king of Israel Hosanna in the highest hooray 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 Matthew chapter 27 verses 5 and 9 and the beloved physician Luke he says because he was near to Jerusalem and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear Luke chapter 19 verse 11 immediately there, there was a turmoil in the air there was electrification in the air Jesus Christ was marching on to Jerusalem to the temple of Jerusalem and they were making a big noise they were throwing flowers in his way they were throwing palm leaf palm leaves in his way Hosanna hooray Hosanna hooray and the priests the Jewish priests they pleaded with Jesus he said look subdue your disciples subdue them you know things might go out of hand the Romans are ruling us any minute they can find an excuse for killing us our people subdue them so Jesus says if these were to be quietened he said even the stones will cry you can't subdue these people can't you see the spirit if they are subdued the stones will cry out and he marches in, into the temple and he upsets the money changers tables he takes a whip and he starts whipping the people he said you're making the house of God into a den of thieves Shh. the kingdom of God was almost to be established but the whole thing went off like a damp squib failed all the hosannas worthless all the hoorays useless now you see there is a reward for success similarly there is a price you have to pay for failure the kingdom of God the rule of God Almighty on earth was to be established any minute immediately and the priest started crying he said the whole the, all the people are going mad after him <laughs> damn squip the thing was a failure it didn't work so now we reach that upper room in Jerusalem where they're supposed to have had the last supper while having the supper he knew that this guy Judas Iscariot was in league with the temple authorities he was going to betray so Jesus tells him go and get going with do what you have planned to do get it over with and he tells his disciples he says you remember previously I sent you out on your mission of preaching and healing and when I sent you I told you when I sent you without purse no extra purse and script and shoes lacked you anything did you lack anything this is no they said nothing then said he unto them but now but now he that had no purse let him take it and likewise his bag and he that had no sword sword the one to cut people's throats chop off people's necks sword s w o r d sword those who have no sword let him sell his garments and buy one luke chapter 22 verses 35 and 36 preparation can you see preparation for war for defense that march had failed and now trouble is brewing in that upper room they would be sitting targets sitting targets for the Jews so he takes his disciples in the middle of the night midnight and he walks them five miles out of town to a place called Gethsemane an olive press a courtyard stone walls and he puts eight of his devoted disciples these disciples who were beating their breast in that upper room he said master anything happens to you we are prepared to die for you master we are prepared to go to prison for you determined lot armed to the capacity what the, the circumstances would allow 
arm to the teeth. And he puts eight of his devoted disciples at the gate. He says, he says, sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. I, alone, I'll go and pray beyond. Sit, you sit here at the gate. Watch with me. I said, watch what? What is there to watch in the middle of the night in Gethsemane, Olive Press? There's nothing there to watch. No, keep guard because the Jews were after his blood. They'll be coming for him. So you keep guard here. Eight at the gate. And he takes with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, Peter the rock. And the two sons of Zebedee, described as sons of thunder in the book, in the Bible. And he makes an inner light, line of defense. And he says, and he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee. Then saith he unto them, tarry ye here and watch with me. Matthew chapter 26, verses 37 and 38. And he goes a little further and prays to God for help and he goes a little further and falls on his face and prays to God he said oh my father if it be possible let this cup pass away from me meaning remove the difficulty from me but not as I will but as thou wilt as a good Muslim he submits his will to the will of God if you want me to die I don't mind but oh my Lord save me and being in an agony, we are told by Luke chapter 22 verse 44, and being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was, his sweat was, as if it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. A man of God, a true man of God, a righteous servant of God, crying with such agony. You think the God of mercy wouldn't hearken to his prayer when he said that you ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock and it shall be open unto you so whosoever asketh receiveth and he that knocketh shall be open unto him he said which man is there of you that if his son will ask for bread will give him a stone or if he ask for fish will give him a snake is there the father in heaven the loving father in heaven would he do that no James, one of the fourth brother of Jesus Christ according to the Christians. James chapter 5 verse 16. He says, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It carries weight. Some cynic remark that if you cry out like that, even the Lord of mercy, the Father in heaven, will come down from his throne to answer your call. You cry like that. Bring him down from his throne. He must come to your aid. And God accepted his prayers. He says, who in the days of his flesh, means while he was here with us, he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared. He was heard, means God heard his prayers. What does it mean God heard? Does it mean God is deaf at any time? He's all hearing God. He hears everything. He hears the whispers. There were secret thoughts he hears. What does it mean God heard? It means God accepted. Zechariah in his old age he prayed for a son. And God heard his prayers. And John the Baptist, Yahya alayhi salam was born. Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam in his old age prayed for a son. And Allah heard his prayers. And Ishmael was born. Ishmael, Ismail. You know what is Ismael? means God heard. Literally it means in Hebrew, God heard. What? The prayer of Abraham materialized. Ishmael in Hebrew means God heard. The prayer of Abraham. So, God Almighty answers his prayer. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. Luke chapter 22 verse 43. The angel came and strengthened him in the hope, the assurance that God Almighty will come to his rescue. But strange as it may sound, the turmoil that Jesus Christ is going through, the preparation he had made, ate at the gate in a line of defense. When he offers heart pourings to God and when he returns, the guys are going to sleep. His disciples are going to sleep. 
Can you imagine? The people who are prepared to give their life for him, go to prison for him. They have gone to sleep. So Jesus says, what? Could you not wash with me for one hour? <laughs> one hour? Matthew chapter 26 verse 40. You can't.